this video, I will be showing you a simple way of backing up your data in Ubuntu. Now to do this, you'll have to go your, to your applications and add and remove. Then search for DE JA and this program will pop up here. It's called Deja Dupe, I think. Uh, it's uh, D E J A D U P. So um, go ahead and install that. After you do that, you go to your applications, accessories and you should find, find it in your accessories and it's right there okay so um, this is very simple you get a window with two buttons here you got restore and backup and um, to backup using this utility you just go to edit go to preferences and from here you choose where you want to backup uh, what you want to back up to like um, it gives you three options here you can back up to a local folder or a local hard drive or an external hard drive or you can back up to an SSH server or Amazon S3 if you have that service so you have three options here for this tutorial I'm gonna be using the local folder option and then you choose the folder you want your backup um, to go to so I'm gonna put it in my uh, home directory and where it says include that's where you include what you want to backup so you just go to add and then you choose the folder or directory you want to backup um, for this I'm gonna be backing up my documents folder actually I already have it selected there so it's right there now if you want to exclude something from your documents uh, maybe you know some files or that you don't want to back up you can go ahead and go to add here and um, add those to here and uh, it will not back those up okay you can also encrypt your backup files so if you're going to be uh, backing up your all your data to a um, to an external hard drive, and uh, and you're afraid that maybe you'll lose it, or especially if you're using a flash drive for backup, if you lose it and uh, you don't want people to be able to access your data, you can go ahead and check this um, option right here, and it will encrypt um, your backup. So. Uh, uh, no one without the password will be able to access your data and um, you can also uh, make this um, automatic so you can uh, automatically back up on a, on a regular basis like uh, uh, you have um, some options here you have daily weekly bi-weekly and monthly so uh, if you want to keep your data fresh your backup fresh you can uh, select one of these options and after you do that you just go to close and you click uh, the backup button and then apply and now it's gonna ask you for the encryption uh, password if you chose that option so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, type my password and it also gives you the options here um, forget the password immediately remember password until you lo uh, log out or um, remember forever I don't rem recommend remember forever because uh, somebody gets uh, access to your computer they'll be able to see what's in your backup I usually choose forget password immediately because I already remember my password so there's no need uh, for uh, for Ubuntu to remember my password for me after you do that just go to connect and I will say your backup was uh, finished. 
Okay. So to back um, to restore your backup, you just go to the restore button, and it'll ask you for your password. So type the password, your encryption password, and go to connect, and it'll give you all the backups that you have. I already I only created one backup right now, so it's only giving me one option, and it'll give you the date and the time for it. After you choose the the appropriate one, you go to forward, and it gives you the option to restore to the original location where you backed up from, or you can restore to a a, a new um, location, so location of your of your choice. So I backed up my documents from my uh, home directory, and uh, I don't have to restore it to that same place. I can actually restore this to the desktop if I wanted to. So I'm going to choose desktop and go forward and apply. And it'll ask you for your password again. Just go ahead and type that and click connect. And that's it. It says it's uh, successfully restored. And you just close. And if you see here in my desktop, I have the, the backup here. So if I open it, I'm going to find my documents in there. And it's right there. So this is an easy way of uh, uh, keeping your data backed up. Um, now if you're planning on uh, uh, making a clean install of um, the new Ubuntu that's coming out, it's a good idea to go ahead and use this utility to back up your uh, all your data that you want to keep. You could um, update to the new uh, version of Ubuntu, but uh, a lot of people will not rec recommend that because a lot of the time, if you do that, you will have some problems. So to be safe and just have a stable system, if you want to install the new uh, version of uh, Ubuntu, um, you can just uh, back up your data using this method and uh, if you want to keep all your uh, programs too you want to move all your programs from uh, this version of Ubuntu to the next one you can go ahead and use a program called uh, Apton CD now if you don't know what Apton CD is or how to use it uh, I did make a video before about that and if you want to watch that one you, you can just go to, to uh, YouTube So just go to YouTube and uh, search for Apton CD. So that's A P T O N C D, and uh, I believe it's the first one that will come out. Yes. So just uh, if you want to learn about that, just go ahead and uh, search for that video. So, um, like I said, if you want to uh, make a clean install. You use the, the the backup program that I just showed you to backup all your data that you want to move and also use Apton CD to keep all your applications and so ma make sure you make a backup of your home directory because that's where all your uh, application settings will be so you don't have to reset everything from uh, from the beginning again okay I think that's it Thanks for watching.